good morning everybody today i am going to explain you about the efficiency of transformer the output of the transformer is given by the power output is equal to power input minus total losses power input is equal to power output plus losses okay this is the relation between the power input and the power output the efficiency of any device is defined as the ratio of power output to the power input okay this is the generally for any device the efficiency is defined as the power output by power input okay so efficiency we are going to indicate using eta so eta is equal to power output by power input okay so that is equal to power output we are going to write as it is in the numerator power output we are going to convert the power input to power output plus the losses okay power input is nothing but power output plus the losses so losses we have divided and written there pi is the iron loss and pcu is the copper loss so efficiency is given by power output divided by power output plus pi plus pcu that is the losses okay so power output is given by v2 i2 cos phi okay here phi is the power factor load power factor so the copper losses is given by i2 square r2e here r2e is the equivalent resistance from the secondary side so eta is given by v2 i2 cos phi 2 divided by v2 i2 cos phi 2 plus pi plus pcu okay so here v2 i2 is nothing but the voltage rating of the transformer okay so the va rating of the voltage ampere rating of the transformer so percentage efficiency is given by va rating into cos phi divided by va rating into cos phi plus pi plus pcu into 100 okay so this is the equation for full load okay so when we are operating at full load then the efficiency we can calculate using this relation but if we are operating the transformer at any other load other than full load then uh, this this formula doesn't apply so the formula that we are going to use to find efficiency for any fraction of load is given by so percentage eta is equal to n here we will get a term n n into va rating into cos phi divided by n into va rating into cos phi plus pi plus n square into pcu full load okay so pcu full load this is very important we have to consider the full load copper losses already already we have discussed that the iron loss is constant loss okay irrespective of the load the iron loss remains constant whereas the copper loss is going to vary as the load varies the copper loss is going to vary so we will get the term n square into pcu full load here n is the fraction of load so n is given by actual load by full load. now let us consider okay half load means how much so 0.5 divided by half load for uh, now, now let us find the yeah, value of n for half load so n is equal to half load by full load okay half load is how much half means 0.5 okay 0.5 by 1 is 0.5 so for half load n is equal to 0.5 so for 3 fourth load n is equal to 0.75 like that 